What's up, everybody? It's the Digital World Podcast. And here is governments admit using mass formation psychosis as a tool of population control. Now, this is uh, one of the topics that was talked about with Mr. Joe. <laughs> and uh, it's an interesting thing to talk about because it's not something that you, you can verify in the sense like, oh, show me the documents, this, this, and that, right? But once you see everything that's been taking place, you can put the pieces of the puzzle together and come to the conclusion that this is the case that's been happening, right? The population has been geared to steer in a certain direction. And people are so focused on, oh, this amount of cases, this, this, and that. And, you know, obviously the numbers that are being reported, how, excuse me, how accurate are they, et cetera, et cetera. And it's, it's just a complete mess. Anyway, here, I, I talked about this in yesterday's episode where um, Dr. Rob asked the question. Actually, I'll play the clip. Take a listen. From basically European intellectual inquiry into what the heck happened in Germany in the 20s and 30s. You know, very intelligent, highly educated population, and they went barking mad. Um, and how did that happen? Um, the answer is mass formation psychosis. When you have a society that has become decoupled from each other and has free-floating anxiety and a sense that things don't make sense, we can't understand it, and then their attention gets focused by a leader or a series of events on one small point, just like hypnosis, they literally become hypnotized and can be led anywhere. And one of the aspects of that phenomena is the people that they identify as their leaders, the ones typically that come in and say, you have this pain and I can solve it for you, I and I alone, okay, can fix this problem for you, okay, then they will lead, they will follow that person through, it doesn't matter whether they lie to them or whatever, the data are irrelevant. And furthermore, anybody who questions that narrative is to be immediately attacked, they are the other. <clears throat> this is central to mass formation psychosis. And this is what has happened. We had all those conditions. If you remember back before 2019, everybody was complaining, the world doesn't make sense, blah, blah, blah. Um, and we're all isolated from each other. We're all on our little tools. We're not connected socially anymore, except through social media. Um, and then this thing happened and everybody focused on it. That is how mass formation psychosis happens. And that is what's happened here. Okay, so he just explained to you exactly what how it happens and how it forms. And everyone's attention got focused to this specific thing. And this specific thing became like hypnosis, like he says. And it's very dangerous because people will follow. In this phenomenon, the people will follow the leader who, or the authority um, regardless of, of if they're being lied to or not. And anything you present that's logical or any data that you present to them is irrelevant. It, make, it, doesn't, it doesn't bear any weight as, long, uh, as, as far as they're concerned. Okay, so, and then here is, you know, articles that you can read about, you know, the government saying they use fear, which again, I think that, you know, you can show all this <laughs> of what you want, but people at this point in time, because they're so hypnotized and they're in this mass formation psychosis, that they look at, you know, the data or things like this and they'll be like, oh, whatever, you know, like we're too far gone. You can't reverse what has already happened. You see what I'm saying? And people who have bought into the narrative are going to continue because it's it would destroy what they have believed and the leaders in charge of it would... <laughs> they would get some serious, serious backlash because what they've done is not acceptable. So... Uh, with that in mind, I'm going to end this here because I got another video that I want to do. You guys are going to get a two-for-one special today. So this is the Digital World Podcast. See you in the next episode.